Hi guys, uh, today I want to show you how to integrate our PHP Storm with Jira. This is my absolutely favorite feature about this software and I hope you will like it too. To integrate with Jira, we go to Tools, Task and Context and then Configure Servers. Here we are adding Server, Jira Server and in server URL, we are placing our URL. Our email. And API token. It could be a little bit tricky. So to get API token, we go to our profile, account settings then security and create and manage API tokens. As you see, I have some tokens already. So I will create new one, especially for this video. As the message says, we will never see this token again. So better to copy it. And our connection is working. In search, we can add a JQL query to filter tasks we want to see in our PHP Storm. Usually, I add here project filter. And to filter by project, usually I copy this uh, symbol our project. And here, let's think. Connection is successful. So now all the tasks we could access from the PHP Storm. It's in top right corner. We have default tasks, open task, and here is our test issue tasks. But it's not everything. We can also com configure our branch name and commit message. It's very useful because in some projects uh, there are some requirements for those names. So to configure this, we go to our preferences and to tasks. And here we have our feature branch name format. Yeah, usually I like to have here ID and summary of our task. It's uh, our title from the Jira. And here in service, we, we've seen this uh, window before, we have uh, this place with commit message configuring, and we can add our custom commit message to every commit we are making from PHP Storm. Usually, ID is enough. Sometimes in uh, branches, I don't know, some teams use feature prefix or other things, we can all add here. So I apply those changes. And now we can go again to our tasks, open tasks, click on our task. And here, first thing, update issue state. It's very useful. Uh, we are developers very often forgot to update our Jira. And now with those configuration, we can do it uh, instantly with uh, taking our tasks and branch name. We can, of course, change this name. And we are choosing uh, which branch should be source for our new branch and then clicking. OK. And here we are. Top down, uh, right down corner. There are our branches and we see our branch we are check out we are check out it on this branch right now so now when i'm integrated with jira and i am on specific tasks i will start working on this task i add some php file with, uh, with anything inside so when I started to work on this um, task, 
something changes, someone comes to me and, oh my God, we have uh, gone back on production. production. So I can just switch to default tasks. And now I'm again on my main branch with default tasks uh, with clear context. And when all, all those fire is, uh, is finished, we can go back to our tasks context just by clicking on top corner, our tasks name and switching to it. And all our, our windows or our files are opened again. I really like this because uh, this sometimes is difficult to create uh, branch names. And now we have this uh, without thinking, without any effort. Other interesting thing uh, to use uh, with this configuration is time management. I'm not using this very often, but it's uh, really interesting for me. So I'll just show you how to do it. Again, preferences, tasks, time tracking. So I will enable time tracking. There is a lot of uh, configuration about it, but I will not go over it. Okay, and now on the right, near the database, we have our time tracking. So now if there is a need to commit some time to our Jira, I can just click on my tasks, use this uh, sign of post to back tracker, and here, Oh, uh, we passed, I don't know, six hours. Why not? And some custom comment I want to add to task. Okay. And let's see what happened in Jira. Our task is in progress because we changed uh, the status. And when we go inside the tasks, we'll see the history. And in history, we see that uh, task was updated with status, comment was, was added, and here we have updated time spent on the tasks. I really like this because uh, when I used to work in uh, some kind of software house, I had to, to come with those time and it was uh, very, very useful. So I hope you will like it too. And, uh, have a nice day and uh, have a nice usage of PHP Storm. Thank you.